got the Thinkware um, FT100 Pro. Comes with two cameras. Uh, one camera for the rear, super tiny, which I really like that they're small cameras. And then this is a camera for the front. It's very small. Um, I also got the GPS version, so that way it tells me my speed and stuff like that. Uh, I was getting kind of tired of just taking out my GoPro and reinstalling it and putting it and reinstalling it because I kept putting my GoPro here to record whatever I want to record. And then I would record YouTube videos, so I would take it out and then keep moving back and forth. So I got tired of that. Um, so this video, it's not an install video. I'm not gonna really go over how I installed it and how I wired it because there's multiple ways to do it. And it's asking you to do uh, a professional installation, which I, I it's not very hard. I, I went ahead and knocked it out already, but uh, I don't wanna be responsible for anything that someone might do. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I did, but um, pretty much, my my wiring in here uh, i have the accessory wire uh the yellow wire it's attached um, into a out of fuse and then i routed the wire under my hood which i'll open it i run this the wire that i ran under here is going to be my ground it's my ground and my power wire so one wire is going to go to your battery and then one wire I grounded right here on the shock tower or strut tower, whatever it's called. And then I routed it into the fender wall and it went in and it comes with fuses. So whenever you get the kit, you'll see the wiring. It's got three wires, two uh, inline fuses, and then one ground. So that's how I wired mine. And then to get the actual DC port, which I'll show you in a second, I pretty much just popped this guy off and I routed the wire underneath this weather stripping here. And then I pulled off my pillar arm and I ran it up. And this goes into the corner right here. And then I just tuck the wire underneath the headliner. And then it pops out on this side. That way, when I mount the camera, it plugs into the side port, it's hardwired. They do include a cigarette lighter, but I'm using my, uh, my radar for that. So I don't wanna have that extended one that has two or whatever sockets. Um, the rear one is gonna go to the back. I'm gonna route that through either up here or I'm gonna wire it through the carpet and get it down because it's a long cable. And I'm gonna wire it coming up here again and then across. And then I'm trying not to get myself in the camera or the mirror. And then it's gonna go over here to this wire here and it's gonna plug in. Um, so the two cameras pretty much power up in sync um, with the accessories. So it also has a park mode where you can actually leave the car to um, pretty much record while you're out. And it's got the G sensor, so if somebody bumps into your car, it'll let you know that that was an alert. Um, the GPS function, like I said, is very nice because that is really one of the reasons why I got this camera. Because I want to know how fast I'm going, I want it to tell me the speed, and it also tells you your location on the map. Uh, it comes with this wire here, which is an extremely long wire, um, but that attaches itself to the front camera and it runs to the back. The back cameras though are mounted with a 3M tape, but my buddy has the same kit and it doesn't have any issues. They don't fall off of the heat or anything. Um, so the 3M tape goes on the, on the back window and then it slides onto the bracket. Here's the cigarette lighter that they give you. Um, I'm not running this, like I said, I don't like the the uh, cigarette lighter version and there's the box and here's the other side it tells you what it comes with but this one actually does come with the gps so i think i paid 229 and then plus tax came out to like 248 uh right now they're on sale on thinkware's website uh amazon has them for 179 without the gps the hard wiring comes included though with this kit so it's pretty much straightforward. Uh, here's the GPS module and it attaches to like a little auxiliary port. This guy you can install somewhere on the glass or under the dash, kind of like the way they do with navigation systems for the cars. So it really depends on how you want to run it. Um, if you guys are thinking about actually getting a camera like this, 
Um, and like I said, it's not a very hard install, but at the same time, it's gonna require you to do some wiring, some splicing, and then routing. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna have uh, dual dash cameras on this car. Um, maybe I'll record you know, some of the runs or whatever I do with some of the other cars. Uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them down below. Um, but it's kind of hard to explain certain things without actually physically showing you. But I don't, I just didn't want to take a long video, you know, 10, 15 minutes of my install when, you know, some of you can just easily install it a certain way or however you want. Um, but like I said, I'll answer any questions if I can. Uh, my method was just going through here, which is the, the most easiest and it's the cleanest looking. You know, obviously you can't see any of the wire hanging out. There's nothing sticking out, nothing broken. The panels all snap back into place. There's no issues. So if you're thinking about doing it through here, this is probably the easiest route for you. Uh, anyways, that's it for now and thanks for watching.